Um, it's going. I know where it's going. It's going here with the knight. It's going to sit there forever. Why is the queen going there like that? That looks like a very strange place for the queen. Oh, yeah, because the knight can go here. I can't take. Oh. Just as I put the queen down, then I saw, just saw it. So his knight's going to be taking the pawn here because my queen's here. Let's go here. Just as I put the queen down there, yeah. So like the twelve hundreds, you know, seeing these sort of things, um, I don't think people understand that twelve hundreds genuinely don't do not do these sort of moves at all. Over the board, you don't see that sort of play. It's really too it's too clever. And I don't think their computer system that they're working. Well, what's he doing now? Let's move this king out of the way. Queen out of the way. Must be hearing me now. They must be listening to me thinking, oh, I better not play too clever. So I bring the king here. What's the knight was looking to do with this? Or was he? I don't know. Might be more magic to him. Or is he running scared? I'm going back here. Well, he's not running scared, but we'll take. Yeah, they must have just heard me talking just then. Not that they can, because I'm just recording. But, yeah. All of a sudden, it just seemed to go flat. He could have just taken that pawn with his knight. Okay, well, we're not winning anything still. Because I'm not really happy with the position. Rook can take. Rook can take. There we do Queen can't take because his queen's defending. Could attack his queen with the rook. So yeah, no matter what happens in the games, it's the quality of the game. It's the quality of the moves that I'm looking at. Um, and it is quite startling to see these some genius type position play. Yes, I make mistakes and I make errors, etc. But... Um, in the long haul, it's like, oof, oh, now he's going to get the pawn here. There's no real point in taking there because the rook is just going to take. Then I suppose we can attack the queen. But he's not going to want to exchange. Let's take. If the queen takes, we'll take the queen, but I don't think the rook will take, so attack the queen. Obviously, wants to do a bit of dancing, doesn't he? So, probably going here. Do a bit of an x ray. Well, it's not an x ray because the rook can move. Pro oh, no, it can take the pawn with a check. I have to be careful. So, he's going there looking for the check on there. Yep. Right, so what can the rook do? And. Da -da. and is also attacking the bishop as well twice Ooh, so probably it's not going to stay there very long though is it the rook because this pawn's going to come down and get it so are we going to have enough time to come here to come here it's tripling up no we're too late i'm gonna have to get the king here but that's closing in the rook the pawn's going to just take the rook off the board savage times Wow, that's just came from nowhere. <laughs> One down. Get across. Uh, I don't know if we've got time, have we? One. Uh, he hits the rook. Oh, we don't have time. We're out of time. It's not done that, it's attacking the queen. Still kind of out of time because we could attack his, but then his rook can take the bishop, we take the queen, okay. It's not a check on the king, so let's see if we can get away with this. But he's not going to exchange, is he, because he's just going to take the pawn here. And then he, he's still got the diagonal protecting this pawn. 
Oh, he has taken. But he gets the bishop back. So he's equalized. And he's on the pawn. Mm, that's a bit nasty, isn't it? I'm going to have to come here. Then he's going to move the pawn. Damn it. So let's go here. And then he's going to bring this rook down, protect him. Put a check on. Come here. See if there's any shenanigans here. Um, what's happening here? So we can't move away from here. We're just constantly babysitting this pawn. He's probably going to put a check on us. You might as well say it's a draw, mightn't you? Do we block up here? Stopping all this push push. Maybe this. Maybe this. Check. This one's coming down here to come here. It's attack. Oh, wrong. Oh, that was. No, it's okay. I can take with the king. I thought that was just going to be dancing now, aren't we? That's it. So that's locked down, man. What are you doing? Boom, 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 boom. That is locked down. Let's just move the king up and down. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to try and flag me, so we can just speed. Just go here. Let's go there. <laughs> Don't know why they didn't accept the draw. <laughs> nope, not accepting the draw. I'm trying to find some sort of way through. So it's slightly annoying. I mean, they've got like, um, what's the word? Poor majority on that side. I suppose they could try and do something if they had something about them. It should do that repetition thing, circular type maneuver, whatever it's called, free time repetition. So we're just going round and round in circles. I think they're trying to see if I can tri trip myself up. Oh, now they start, but you lose a rook. <laughs> I don't know why you're playing on now. <laughs> I bet you feel really bad now. Shall we attack this? Then he attacks the pawn. What magic has he got? He's not coming here. So we can take. Oh, the blobbed. Eh? They messed it up. But he does have the poor majority thing that we talked about. So do we need to be a little bit steady? Let's take here and see if we can open up a bit of space for our pawn. Zip. Before he gets all active. And then we can give them something to worry about. Let's do 
Let's put a check. Ooh, ooh, uh, whoa, oh, wow, that doesn't... That means it can come down from my roof. Interesting times. It can come down from my roof. It's not doing that. Maybe don't need to panic so much, but uh, it's coming down from my rook, so that means it can take the pawn. Hmm. Push. Just about to say, wouldn't that be weird if he got some sort of checkmate from that? Oh, time's running out. Don't get fancy. going to peel up all my pawns. If I lose on time, escaping king. Look at him go. Oh, sure. Whew. Okay, we're back. Let's attack this pawn. See what this game's going to bring. Some shocking revelations that 1200s don't play like this. I mean, there's many, many reasons why the person may not actually be a 1200. It might be that they're just using it as a training ground and they're probably like a 1800 or 1900 but they don't actually play online that often so there's all those types of scenarios that come into play so this the rating probably is not a true reflection of the opponent's abilities we'll never know unless you were forced to put in everything you know what your experiences were on your profile, um, we'll, we'll never know. Plenty of things to focus on, could attack here, obviously it just brings the knight through attacking the pawn. Let's go with that basic stuff first. Get our knight out. It's a bit defensive, isn't it? Maybe more attack the knight with the bishop. X-ray and through to the queen. That looks a little bit more umphy, doesn't it? Only issue I've got is, well, it's not an issue, it's just when we go for the umph, because his knight is there, 
he's got oomph himself because his um, bishop can attack our queen. So they're not going for any of that, it's just blocking that way. So let's take. And they've probably realized. Let's go here. Let's get the queens off the board. Go for the end game. I think I'm being out of here. I might, I might have over overarted it. Thinking, well, if the queen bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes. That pawn's going to take. This pawn's going to be isolated in the middle. So <laughs> that's why I'm going to. <laughs> Damn. A little bit too. Whoa! Alright, so we can take. Queen takes. Queen's on our bishop though. Let's take this pawn. Don't forget potential castling. I bet you we've missed out on that. No, pawn push. Yeah, we did say that was going to happen, didn't we? Now, has that messed us up? Because if we do take. If his bishop takes, we take his king's then out of line. Oh, but we can't take because his queen's got us in check type thing. Ooh, we got too hard to do it, I think. Oh, if my pawn wasn't there, I'd have been able to take his rook off the board. Slide here or here? Here, because it's attacking the pawn. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to angle my body then. Yeah. Yeah, got a bit arty there. That was a little bit too arty. We don't usually play like that, going for the cheap stuff. Because going for the cheap stuff, some, you know, really kind of doesn't always improve your position. Oh, so we're going for the exchanges. And the pawn's going to be in the center. <laughs> All by itself, isolated. Yeah, so he's got his pieces out now. Probably going to look to try and stop us from castling or maybe not as he got an attack. This pawn's by itself as well. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff by itself. Knight's in. It's castle. Still got an attack on this pawn. Two pieces. Ooh, get the knight out this way. Doubles the pawns. Ooh, we're gonna have to get it out anyway, so we may as well just No, maybe not double. I don't think we have to double, do we? So it's oh he's got my rook on oh, got, oh my knight's protecting the bishop. Don't worry about that. Can't go here because his bishop's attacking. Let's attack his bishop. Yeah, so that's one of the main main reasons why doing the quick and dirty tactics type stuff doesn't really improve your position because not all of your pieces are working together. So the bishop's moved, so we can take that off the board and then take his rook off the board. Or do we have to take the rook? Do we come for the knight? Is the knight trapped? Knight looks like it might be trapped, you know. If we came here, if he went here, if he goes here, if he goes here, goes here yeah so I think the knight's trapped oh but then the rook can come down with a check on the king uh, okay right let's do it anyway let's attack the knight the rook's gonna probably come and put a check on but we'll get the knight off the board anyway yeah what was I saying was like quick and dirty tactics um I think probably making them better is looking at the full picture of the position of your pieces afterwards and are they all kind of working together to improve that position rather than just going for the quick and dirty because most times the quick and dirty can be defended. Yay, we get it. Okay, but he gets a pawn. Does he get another pawn? Oh, shall we just bring it down now? Bring it down. 
it's coming in for the attack rook comes down attacks let's come here see if we can get the knight up here he's blocked that off let's attack this rook oh no don't tell me he's got a can't be Get one of the rooks. Excellent. Nice one. <laughs> Can't even bring the bishop back because he takes with a check. He's also on the rook as well. Oh my gosh. That's so bad. That is so bad. So I'll tell you what, we'll resign this one. Let's bring the knight here. Let's attack the pawn. This is a 1200. So we'll grab the pawn. Grab the knight. Let's bring the bishop out. Let's take the pawn. Attack the king. Take the bishop. Castle. Let's attack the knight. Let's develop the knight. Always for the B pawn, so let's just push here. Shall we just hit here? Yeah, that's my bad. Okay, we'll resign that one. I moved a bit too fast there. Okay, let's crack on. So you see, some of them are my mistake, and others are that they're supremely good. I think I was suffering from the shock of the 1100 whooping me. Good style. All right, so let's bring the bishop out. Might as well develop the knight. Let's castle. How are they going to go for it? It's very rare nowadays that they actually go for this fried liver thing. They were doing it quite a lot in the, what is it, earlier part of last year. Oh, they are going for it. Okay, testing the waters. So the idea is they've got like the two rooks so they've got to cr try and use the advantage of having the two rooks let's move this uh, king out of the way but in essence we have more more pieces on the board so if they're getting the queen off the board then they've got one two three and we don't want to go there just yet do we and da -da -da -da. shall we open up the bishop open up the bishop one, two, three, four against one, two, three if the queens are coming off the board. Let's just jump here, see if there's any space for attacking here. Bringing the knight around. Let's bring the knight around. Maybe looking to trap the queen. Ooh, let's attack the. He's got a check on our king with a capture. Queen's not trapped because it can go back. So these are the danger zones here. Or maybe that's well, it's not getting there. It does take. So it's gonna have to go all the way back with the queen. If he forgets himself. Oh no, maybe. Locking in my rook. I have space here. Grab a rook or something. Yep, that's not happening. Okay, let's just... Mate, fret it. Let's attack the king. Anything else? Yes, okay, let's attack the king. Let's 
It's gone deep into the corner. Bishop, bishop. Oh, queen, queen. Oh, the queen. Queen in here. Rook's going to go back. Mm, interesting time. Attack the rook. Rook takes queen, blah, 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 blah. Anything different? Come this way. This rook comes here. When you're so close, but yet so far. What is it? What is it? Knight, knight. Give it a try. Rook comes here. Don't know what we do after that. Bishop up. Queen takes the rook. Not interested in that. No, that doesn't really. I suppose the bishop could come here, then the knight can go here. The rook probably has to take. Oh no, mind you, if the knight goes there, then there's no threat to save. But the bishop can come here if the knight takes, if the rook takes. But it's still not a checkmate because of the rook here. Hmm. Okay, right. Let's work it through. Bishop comes here. So the queen just takes the rook because it's going greedy munching. Knight goes here, attacking the rook. Rook takes. Bishop takes. Queen's going to want to get into the game, so maybe he takes the pawn. He's got that diagonal. Bishop's there. Bishop comes and puts a check on. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? So it would be a check a meter. Let's go with this. Just won't do anything that we think. Probably just simply push the pawn down. <laughs> What do we, oh no! <laughs> really? Oh my gosh! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt! Oh! Oh, that's a shame. Let's put the check on. <laughs> put the check on. Oh, you're joking me. And then get his queen off the board. Oh, they've resigned. <laughs> that was pure luck. <laughs> that was so ugly. But we got somewhere with it anyway, against the fried liver. So that's not bad. <laughs> that did make me laugh. Oh, cracky. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, we're playing 1100 again. Let's see how awesome this player is. Let's see how awesome this player is. I remember doing a sort of series like this um, many moons ago, and I said that the strongest players ever that I've ever faced playing on this site was 1100s. They actually were a lot better than quite, you know, a lot better than the 1200s and the 1300s. They just, I don't know what it was, they just seemed to have a different caliber of player. They were just very scatty. You know really scrappy with the player but somehow they find these really good maneuvers let's go and attack the knight undecided take with the bishop i like taking with the pawn because then the knight has to move oh okay let's take with the queen yeah so they're the scrappiest ones but that one that beat us just recently i mean that was a little bit special that was too special for an 1100 the ones i'm used to are scrappy really strong in terms of just being so scrappy that you think damn what's that actually happening but they don't overawe you you know they do make mistakes and you, you can take advantage eventually i did the pawn or the bishop 
See, doubling my pawns, why would I want to do that? Because it's just going to come here, then my, I'm babysitting the pawn. I'm actually going to take with this. I'm going to take with the bishop. Maybe we'll get the knight out. Let's get the knight out. Are we pushing these pawns up first before we get the knight in? Oh, let's push now. He's gone kingside castle. Trapping in my bishop though. Oh, I need to move this pawn up. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Let's take. Let's take and continue pushing. Do you know what he's looking for? This knight coming here and the queen attacking here. Let's push this pawn first. Let's push. This pawn is only protected by the queen, so they'll be looking to double the rooks on this. So be mindful. Oh, it's not actually taken. I think we'll take. If, ooh, it's got the 2 on 1 like we just mentioned. It's also got the pawn here. This queen's got a two pronged attack. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. It's got a two pronged attack and the knight can't do anything. Nope. Which one do we want to let go? The one in the middle or the one on the. Yeah. Let's go with this because it's harassing our king. So it's going to take this one. So then we can go and get... I don't think we're going to be fast enough, are we? Because if we go here, we can take this one or he can come back again to harass that one. So if we then go up, then his queen takes with a check, etc. And his rook's here. Maybe it's not as bad. It's just that we're going to be down pawns. Let's attack him. Yeah, he does go back. Let's grab. Let's take. Right, okay. Let's go for this pawn. He comes down for the knight. Told you, scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. And, oh, um, yeah. Whoa, nice one. So he's guarding the pawn. He's also attacking our pawn. Could defend with the rook, but uh, you know, I'm feeling like I shouldn't really be defending. If we come here to go here, attacking this pawn, it's on our knight. I'm gonna do that anyway. And his knight's protecting that square as well. So we'll let him have this pawn, maybe just move the knight across, maybe try and get it up to here, put a bit of pressure on this pawn. Oh, he's not doing any of that. Let's go anyway. Looks like he's seen what we're doing already. A bit advanced at 1100s. Yeah, look at them. Spotting all the stuff. Right, so what we want to do is get our knight up, like we said. See if we can add a bit more pressure to it. And let's go here. Add some more pressure. Obviously, he's got to check on the king. What's his knight? No, that's fine, I think. And it's not a check on his king, so we can take the pawn. Where can we go from there? I was feeling like just taking this as well, just to get it out of the way. But his knight is covering this square, so he's never moving that knight. So do we go for his knight rather than take the pawn? come for the rook he's come for a rook oh no 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 he's come for a rook so that means we're gonna have to take with the rook gonna have to take with the rook oh he's doubled up gonna take with a gonna get a checkmate oh sha. that was tight I tell you 
these 11 lunches very dangerous but as you can see um, there were some holes that we could take advantage of whereas compared to the other 1100 where we didn't get a look in there's a vast difference shall we take with the queen uh, oh not the queen oh. <laughs> damn narration lord damn you oh, okay resign that one that was a bit of a verbal narration slip okay that was my fault my fault oh you're having a laugh it's got the rook as well oh it's done 1200 wow wow unbelievable okay okay oh i don't want to play a player with this what is xxx bdb oh, never these are yeah I'm concentrating. There's nothing behind the knight. Let's attack. Let's take X-ray through to the king. Obviously, we're not taking because the queen's there. Let's attack the bishop. Pawn takes, pawn takes situation. Rook takes, queen attacks the pawn, queen comes down to protect the pawn, but it doesn't really want to do that in this game, and it does as well. Now does the knight have a merry dance, knight comes here, it doesn't have a merry dance position, here to here, right okay, here. Excuse me. Let's take. Let's take. <laughs> Excuse me, wrong place. Attack. Let him breed a bunch of few pawns. But as we said right at the very beginning, they make you think that you, you've got some sort of chance. This might be a half decent one, but <laughs> um, that was a bit lucky. But that doesn't mean we've won anything because he's still got these pawns and he's got a knight, flexible knight at that. Let's attack this pawn. He could always get a fork on me. So they couldn't. Playing fast now, so I think we might be in some sort of trouble. Knight coming here, attacking the pawn. Let's hit the knight. If we can get the, excuse me, the king to about here or something, I think he's just gonna def. Oh. I was going to say I thought he was going to just go and defend and take. So this is more like an 1100 now that we're seeing it. And this is a special titled one. So obviously that's um, quite good for us. Do we bring the king here and come here?
Am I messing this up? Am I messing this up? <laughs> Probably am. Maybe the pawns are getting too close. Let's uh Think the pawns are getting too close. They're getting a bit of a power base um, push up. Or just leave. If we leave it, then that might be better, might it? Yeah, let's just leave it. If it takes, we take. Oh, come on. No, no, no. We don't want any of this business. What's all this about? And then his pawn drops. King drops. Jeez. So if we go here. It does take. Let's hit the king. Let's take this pawn first. This pawn. Push. Push. Probably made me made a meal out of that, but hope there's no stalemate rubbish. Be a stalemate rubbish, you know. Hold on. So if you hide, oh, he's not hiding there. Where's my queen? Here. Yeah, oh my god, it's gonna be a stalemate, man. I can feel it in the water. We go here. Boom. Can still move. Oh god, it's a draw. No, I'm not having any of that. Come on, get here. Where are we at? Oh, I'm gonna have to move the queen. Check. Try and get the king over. Oh, not yet. Check. Can still move there. Get the king over. Check. Oh, hold on. Nearly checkmate, but I don't want the queen staying there because. So he moves. Please don't stalemate it. Don't you dare stalemate it. Oh, it's still ending up here. Check, but then he goes there. I don't want my queen on this square because it just stops that. Oh, but I get a checkmate, I think, if he goes back in the corner. Check. Yeah, because it. Ah! He spotted that. So, my god, is it a draw? <gasps> no! He has to move his king far away from there. Because he can't come here anymore. 
and if we move our king a bit closer down if he pushes the pawn the queen can take all right plenty of time for a queen king ending yay check let's move the king Hmm, very nice against a strange numbered looking thing which usually they're very very strong so we got lucky in that one but they played more like an 1100 bits of strength here positional understanding all those types of things and but at the end of the day they're not blowing you out of the water 1100s they don't do that they'll do it against each other but no so let's keep plodding away take a break Another 1100. Let's attack the queen. So we know what to expect of 1100 type things. Let's see if this falls into line in this particular game as well. Let's just bring the bishop here. Shall we go for the x ray? This castle. Let's attack the bishop. I don't think I'm wearing them apples wants us to open here so the rook's got this and the queen's got this. That's a little bit shifty, isn't it? That's a little bit shifty, dude. Let's push the pawn. So we're going to have to open up the bishop now. to the pawn let's attack this queen support from the rook always for the b pawn let's attack the queen Yep, so always going to be attacking. He's got like a two on one there. Let's not forget that. And he's also attacking the knight. So basically, the bishop is going to take the pawn here. Very stealthy. Very stealthy. Could look to block, but we'll still lose a pawn here because the knight will take. Does that improve? Knight, knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes. With a check on our king. Ho oh ho! So I don't think we can save this pawn. We don't have any checks on this king. Mm. So if we did go up there and the knight takes. The bishop comes back and attacks the queen. The 
queen is not going to stay there because the bishop will take. Can it come here? So it'll come here because it's wanting to get the pawn back. Yeah, yeah, so you'll go there. And when we take, he still takes anyway. So yeah, we're going to lose that pawn no matter what. So we might as well just give this pawn up then. The bishop's going to take, but then... Bishop takes, knight takes, so it's the queen that's going to be here. We have an x-ray through. It's a shame his king's on the white square. Anything else? Well, there's nothing else, is there? I don't see why that doesn't work, but it doesn't. Knight takes. Bishop attacks. Queen goes here. Pawn defense, bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes, bishop comes here attacking the knight, rooks on the queen, queen has to move somewhere, okay let's do that. Knight takes. goes here or here. Oh, they landed. Bishop can still attack it and harass it. Anything else? Attack it. They might make a mistake. Come on, make a mistake. It's on the white square. Attacking something. Bishop attack. It's escaping. It's escaping, it's escaping. Yes, yeah, so it's going back here. It's on the white dark square, so we could go for a trade. With the queen. Yeah, plus one. Well, an attempt at a trade. Or just chase him around a bit. Let's go for an attempt at a trade. End game. Attack his rook. Bait the pawn. Attack his pawn. Baiting another pawn. What do we reckon? Okay. Let's take this off the board. We're going for simplification. Let's take this pawn. Let's take the knight. Let's attack the pawn. Attack the pawn. If we are own in the file or not, really. Let's bring the knight back again. Shall we take it off the board or shall we just leave it? Is the knight looking at doing dun, 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 dun. Yeah, not really owning the file really, are we? Knight's got here and here. Let's push this pawn. Oh, he's wanting a Pass pawn. Okay, let him have the pass pawn. Oh, he's got my pawn. He's still going for the pass pawn. Let's just take this here with a check on the king. Um, 
could move the king. But then, he, yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's take. He's going to want to wrap his rook around. Let's take. Yeah, it's going to want to wrap it around or come around the back, whichever. Mm. Am I fast enough? Attacking these pawns. He's coming around, attacking the king, king moves. Should we take this take this one? Two linked pawns. I don't know if we're fast enough. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we are. Let's take. It's got my pawn on the far. Other pawns, pawns, let's push. Keep pushing. Push. Push. Oh, nice one. 